up YouTube back for another quick video on the 21 scat pack wide body today we're going to be ditching this stock intake and we're going to be installing the upper and lower Hellcat airbox all right guys so I'm excited to finally do this mod today we're gonna be ditching the stock scat pack intake we're gonna be installing the upper and lower Hellcat intake as well as the Hellcat filter and the inlet tube behind the headlight. So I had purchased the whole kit used off of a forum for a very good deal. So we're just gonna go over the quick process of how to remove the stock intake. We're gonna have to modify the upper of the Hellcat in order to fit, the tube has to be cut. So we're gonna go over all that, we'll get it installed and then we'll see how it sounds when she's on. So let's get to it. All right, first step, we're just gonna remove this bolt here. We're gonna undo all of these screws here and on the hose clamp and remove the breather line here, and we'll take this whole top lid out. Once you have the upper lid removed, you can pull out, you can hear my dogs, they're upset they're not out here. You can remove your filter and then lift straight up on the lower and you'll pull out the whole lower assembly. Then you're just gonna to wanna to remove this grommet here and we're gonna install this on the other air box. All right, so you can see here now the two top lids. Here is the Scat Pack one and here is the Hellcat. And you can make it out, the Hellcat one is taller. You can see it has more volume up here. And then the inlet, I believe this is four inches and this is four and a half. It's also substantially longer. So we're gonna take measurements here. We're gonna take this up and this is gonna have to get cut down in order to fit properly in the intake coupler. So number thing two you'll see here. So this is your scat pack one. You can see it's not as tall and it has all of this uh, extra plastic in here that's a restriction. This whole box here where this one is completely wide open and free flowing. So that is the benefit of why I wanted to do the Hellcat upper as well. Yes, it is going to be a little bit more work, but to me, it's gonna be worth it if I'm doing it anyway. It also does have the port here, which I'm going to drill out so that I can put the breather tube back on it and don't have to put a breather filter and keep it disconnected. So this way it will look as factory as possible and will look real good under the hood. So let's tape up this in the tube. We'll get everything cut and then we'll start getting it installed. All right, so we have this all taped up. So basically you're gonna have to cut out the whole piece of where the mass airflow sensor would be because Hellcat's had a uh, MAF and the scat packs only have an intake air temperature, which is the um, little circular one. So if you look here, it's just over an inch that you'd have where your intake coupler would actually um, be attached. So if you do it here from the base, that still gives us well over an inch. So even though we are cutting a lot off, we're still gonna have actually even more room than we had on this one or on the stock one. So just tape up right around it and we're gonna go get our cutting wheel and we're gonna cut this tube right off. So once you've cut off that extra tube, just go around, clean it, use a scuff pad, some sandpaper. We'll get all the edges nice and smooth, and then we'll drill out this hole here. All right, so now that this is cut and all smoothed out, nice and smooth, um, I drilled this hole open. I just used at first a small drill bit, and I drilled four pilot holes, and I grabbed some needle nose pliers, and I ripped out all the little uh, tabs that were in there. And then I went through with a half inch and uh, opened up the whole thing. So you can see on the inside here, you have a nice hole for the breather. So I'm just gonna wash everything out, wipe it all down, and then we'll get to removing the cap on the back of the headlight so we can get that tube installed. Okay guys, so now for removing the cap, you can see here I removed the whole light assembly. It's in with about six little screws um, that are all around and it holds it in. It sits right there. You can just, once you take the six screws out, you can just slide the whole thing out, unplug the harness right here, and now you can 
easily access and work with it. Everyone complains about these two screws. They're very, very small Torx bits, which I don't have the right size of. So I'm gonna to try to use an Allen key or a wrench, adjustable pliers, something like that, and get these off. This way you're not struggling and bending over into the hood to try to get these off. It's easier just take the six bolts off and then you can work with it on your bench or wherever and access this to get the cap off. All right, next up now, we're gonna install the lower box and we're gonna put the duct inlet on this and then we're gonna mount it onto the back of the headlight. All right, now we're gonna install the bolt back in on the grommet and then we're gonna drop the air filter in. Filters in. Then we're gonna take this breather tube off to make it easier first. And we're gonna install that on the Hellcat lid. All right, just keep twisting until you have it on there nice and snug. Then we can put the lid back in. Like so, reattach this, and now we just have to work the intake tube. It will be snug, just open up the band clamp as much as you can, and then work it in until she's all the way in. All right, so the stock intake coupler is on. Thank you to my friend, Grass Stains, who is here to help me because it is definitely a two-person job. It is an extremely tight fit. Just use a little bit of water to try to help you lubricate it to slip it on but uh, definitely need two people to do it. We have it on the throttle body. The whole Hellcat intake is on now, so we're gonna start her up and see how she sounds. I'll be sure to do a follow-up video in the future, and we have some new decals coming for the top of this lid and for the coil covers as well, which I will do a video on very soon. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this solves any issues or any questions that you might have, and hope you enjoy.